That was an unusual type of clearance. That's uh, it is controlled, right? No, it's not controlled. Oh, it is. This okay. is stri strictly flight service. Okay. Airports with mandatory frequencies in class echo airspace confuse a lot of pilots, myself included. You're more than welcome to do the landing from there if you like. Oh, I'll give it a try, but you get ready to take it. It's been, I'm not very current. It's be interesting. <laughs> We're flying low and slow on the east coast of Canada. And my family's exploring it from the ground. You've done this before. So I'm kind of intentionally putting it a little bit more on your side. And if it has slipped, just I can't see. Yep. Prince Edward Island is a beautiful part of Canada. Having a friend like Big Jim to show me around was great. Jim's company Great Hobbies has allowed him to pursue his love of flying. He and his partners have three airplanes. The Cherokee, We've made good use of that Cherokee. I have two partners in the company, Mark Boland and Gary Steven, and they both got their license in the Cherokee. It's been to Oshkosh every year for the past uh, nine years, I guess, really. The RV4. We happened to find an RV4 for sale. It was done up in our logo right from the get-go. Our logo is a sky blue with a white line and teal at the bottom, and it had markings on this RV4 that was identical to our logo. We couldn't have painted it better ourselves. And the Cetabria. 1973 7 ECA Citabria. It's 115 horsepower. We purchased that out of St. John, New Brunswick and brought it home. There's five of us. It's sort of the high wing of the, uh, of the stable and uh, the, the low and slow, a beautiful calm evening around Prince Edward Island and it's a, it's a great ride. They all fill their own little niche, which we really enjoy. As for Jim's love of flying, well, it all started with models. We dove into Jim's backstory in a previous episode where we also flew the Cherokee and I was put to the test flying RC for my first time. Check that one out along with over a hundred other back catalog episodes at flightchops.com. Today, Jim and I are flying the Cetabria. My girls are here too, so while we're up there flying over the island, they'll be experiencing PEI firsthand down below. One, two, you got it. Oh, there we go, yep. This and the RV are the only tailwheel planes you fly? I mean, I've flown, uh, of course, the 7 before, the 8 before, and the uh, Super Cub. So you did your tailwheel endorsement on the Super Cub, yeah? The yes, on the Super Cub, that's right. Do you find this one a lot more forgiving than the Super Cub? It's hard to tell because it's so long since I've done the Super Cub several years, there was a quite a bit of spacing in between. The entire process of my initial tailwheel training in a Super Cub is also available at flightshops.com if you missed that. Charlottetown Radio, Charlie Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Quebec, Kilo, Apron 2. They control Sydney from here as well, or they are the flight service center for Sydney. Wow. Remote. The airspace here is unique. It's not a control tower or a unicom, but a radio operator from flight service on the mandatory frequency, offering advisories to VFR pilots. But from an IFR standpoint, it is controlled. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Quebec, Kilo, Charlottetown Radio, good day again. If you have questions or better ways to explain how flight service and mandatory frequencies work in Class Echo airports like this, please comment below. This is not something that I've got much experience with, so it was interesting to see how Jim worked with the specialist. Yes, good morning. Two souls aboard for a local flight. Probably won't be all that high. Uh, just looking for the latest uh, advisory. Fox Truck, Quebec Kilo. Fox Fox, Quebec Kilo, Roger. Preferred runway 03, wind 340 at 3, altimeter 3005. Okay, we checked the comments. We'll taxi for position, uh, take Alpha to position 03 for departure. Foxtrot, Quebec Kilo. Under runway 03, in what direction of flight will you be headed for? Uh, we'll head up to the North Shore from here and then probably uh, westerly at that point, Fox Quebec Kilo. Under in your proximate altitude. Uh, we'll be three and below uh, for the endurance of the flight. And uh, do you have a squawk for us? We, we have mode A, but probably not C. C may be intermittent, uh, Fox Quebec Kilo. Roger, you can squawk 1215. 1215 on the squawk, Fox Quebec Kilo. That was an unusual type of clearance. That's, uh, it is controlled, right? No, it's not controlled. Oh, it is. This okay. is stri strictly flight service. Okay. Boy, the wind is varying. Look at go around. <laughs> like he reported it, favoring 03. Yet, mind you, it's three knots, so it's irrelevant, but yeah. All set to go back there? Yes, sir. Okay. And Fox, go back. He was on the roll, 03. As 
you can see, here's the expansion happening. Why the X has got all those fluffy things on them? Are they like sandbags or something? I think so. Well, this is a pretty awesome way to see PEI. It is a beautiful way to see PEI, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very nice uh, place to look at from the air for sure. Very pastoral. Did you guys get sick of people asking you where Green Gables is? Uh, not really. We'll actually go by there. We'll, that's where we'll head. Go westerly. Once we hit the North Shore, we'll go westerly and follow along over there. And Fox Quebec Kilo is uh, clear of the circuit. Fox Quebec Kilo, run. What are those sand dunes over there to the right? That is Trackety Bay, actually. You can see there's an opening now, so that's actually an island now where all the dunes are. At one time, that was strictly peninsula. Then three or four years ago, a storm came in and opened up wow. uh, where it was fairly flat. And the change in patterns, eh? Everything just shifts. And Fox Quebec Kilo is clear of the zone. Fox Quebec Kilo, Roger. And just give me a call on the reading down. Fox Quebec Kilo. And we're blistering along at 90 miles per hour indicated. This airplane's not meant to go fast, right? It's low and slow. At That's right, show, right? Yeah. So this is Stanhope here that we're going over right here. That's beautiful. There's some people down there enjoying the beach. Yeah, there would be. Not a really hot beach day today, but I'm sure there would be uh, people there. Lots of sand though to chill on. It's still oh, nice. yeah, look, I mean the whole coast, eh? Oh yeah, so the girls are going to have some good little adventures checking out these places. That's right. These are the warmest waters north of uh, Florida. It's just the way the currents happen to come up and the way we get them here. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not like swimming in the Gulf of Mexico or anything. It's cooler than that, obviously, but in the summertime, it's quite tolerable. Well, that's yeah. awesome. So this is all the national park along the North Shore here. I came here without really knowing fully what I was going to be experiencing, just knowing it was going to be beautiful. It's hard to believe this is Canada. We've got a, a very vast array of uh, terrain and uh, landscape, don't we, in this country? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool going coast to coast. How often do you get unusual quick fog or whatever coming in? Is it the kind of thing? Uh, not quick, typically. So it's predictable? Yeah. The biggest fog we get is in the morning when you want to go flying until 9 o'clock and there's a fog until the sun burns it off, basically. That's sort of the typical fog. To get it late in the day is fairly rare. Well, not being a morning person, that wouldn't be so much a problem for me. <laughs> there you go. Wow, I can't believe how awesome this is. Some nice uh, red cliffs here. There's a typical PEI uh, uh, cliff shoreline. We're on our way to Cavendish, which is where Green Gables is. That's up this way, so. We flew over Green Gables. It's one of the most famous parts of the island, of course, Green Gables. A lot of people seem to know about Green Gables. They've seen the movie. They've come to see the play. Green Gables, you can see the golf course, and there's a green roofed house, and that's Green Gables. That's the location, eh? Yep, that's the house. Yeah, that's the, the inspiration for the story. So this peninsula down below to our right here, the tide obviously goes right over that, because you can see how it's kind of... Yeah, there's times in a storm, it'll get water wash up over that. You can see how quickly it drops off. Yeah, that's amazing. Yep. And then you get an area that's almost all sandbar. You can almost walk across the rest of it. Yeah, lots of people swimming down there, right? Yeah, there's a few there. See? See, I guess that's like really fertile soil, right? Is that like why it's so red? Yeah, the uh, the red is actually from the iron that's in the soil. Yeah, it rusts and that's what it's left with, so there's a fairly high iron content. Wow, okay, I did not know that. That's cool. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is the River Clyde here. It's a, it's a beautiful area of the island. The central part of Queens County here is all very rolling hills. Are all these things in the water like lobster traps or something? Radio, is that is mussel. They're all hung on strings and they grow on the uh, on the strings. Uh, Do you want to take control for a little while? Oh, sure, yeah, okay. Uh, Do you have control? Away, uh, I'm control. To one, uh, we'll join the left. Uh, yeah, you've got everything throttled and the whole works back there. So Roger, runway 2 1. And you're in down from where? Uh, I need to change the power though, right? Just keep where it's at. Uh, you're at 2400 at the moment. Of course, you gave it to me right when it was turbulence. I don't know what's me or what's the plane, but... <laughs> I know. No, I know it's a bit of turbulence here, so that's good. It makes it all work. Golf Bravo Hotel, Charlie Shaw, Thunder. This is the New Glasgow Lobster Suppers. Now, Sterling, who you met this morning, he's one of the partners in that. We may very well want to go there for... It is sort of a very quintessential lobster dinner. It's fantastic. Going to New, over New Glasgow, one of the most beautiful spots of Prince Edward Island and, and of course it's the home of the New Glasgow Lobster Suppers which happens to be uh, also owned by one of our flying members and uh, he's been flying for many years. It's probably one of the premier lobster spots in, uh, in eastern Canada for sure and it is a, uh, a landmark of the food uh, tour. I haven't seen any other traffic like uh, I guess it's not a perfect flying day so people aren't out. Yeah, I mean if you didn't see anybody on the ramp back there 
Collision help and ship people flying. Is that is that bridge over there, the great big bridge that gets you to the mainland? Yep. Or? Yeah, that's a yeah. confederation bridge. 13 kilometers long. Was it 60 meters at the, the high point? It has a gradual up and then it's flat at 40 meters off the water. And then there's that uh, passage in the center. You can just see there's a little bit of a hump in the middle. That's for the tall boats. Yep. That was a classic sort of power line we just crossed over where you look for the tree cut to find it. Uh, students always ask on the maps, how do, you, how do you spot power lines? And it's like, well, you look for the tree cut. Yep. I really appreciated Jim taking me for this ride. I love any excuse to get up, especially in this thing. It's such a great, perfect thing to use to go see the island. Exactly. Yep. That's Charlottetown Radio, Charlie Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Quebec Kilo. Fox, Fox, Quebec Kilo, Charlottetown Radio. Good afternoon again, uh, 13 and a half to the west here. Uh, probably just going to follow the West River down around, probably a turn or two around Stratford, and then we'll be inbound to the field. Fox, Fox, Quebec Kilo. Fox, Fox, Quebec Kilo, roger. No other report of traffic for you. Report uh, inbound from Stratford area. We'll uh, report inbound. Fox, Quebec Kilo. Yeah, that is quite a tower, that one. It is, isn't it? <laughs> You can see Charlottetown there, where the most populated. You can see the buildings and stuff on it. That's all Charlottetown. Beyond that's the East River. Just the side of its North River that goes that way, and this is the West River that meets that. So they all meet up into the harbor, and the entrance to the harbor is just opposite there on the right that goes out into the strait, the Northumberland Strait, and that's Nova Scotia across there. I guess the reason why they put the city there was because it was like the intersection of all the rivers. Yep. Uh, the highways of the old days, right? Exactly. Sure. Just aim for the right Perfect. end of that bridge, and then we'll do a circle around Stratford. A few people out enjoying the sailboats today. You can see the runway there. Yep. So let's do a right-hand turn to get ourselves toward the airport. Sure. You're more than welcome to do the landing from there if you like. Uh, I'll give it a try, but you get ready to take it. It's been, I'm not very current. That's be interesting. <laughs> My content doesn't always get published in order. I've already published a bunch of training in the backseat of a pit special that was done after this flight, where I learned how to land that thing from back there. Yeah, we're just here over Strathmore, turning in towards the airport at this time. We'll probably uh, uh, set up for a left downwind for 2-1. Fox, Quebec Kilo. Fox, Quebec Kilo, Roger, runway 2-1, active runway is 2-1, wind 250 at 7. The altimeter now 3005, traffic. Cessna Skymaster inbound from the northeast. We'll get an update. He's not on our radar here. Just stand by. Copy that. We will establish a left down wind if we have to extend. That's perfectly fine. Fox, Quebec Kilo. So this flight was way before that pits training. I'm looking for a 70 on final, is that correct? About 70, 75, somewhere in there, and then bleed it off over the fence. What's my power at now? You are at 2,000 RPM. I want to be at 1,500 probably. Yep. About there. Fox, Quebec Kilo, returning final at 2 1 Fox, Quebec Kilo, Roger, wind 2007. That's nice, we're almost down the runway now. So I'm kind of intentionally putting it a little bit more on your side, and a bit of a slip, just so I can't see. Yep. You want me a three pointed or wheelie? Whatever you're comfortable with. Very good. Well, that wasn't good. Side <laughs> loads. Sorry. That's all right. Well, it's always fun to do a backseat landing in a new plane. I've never done a backseat landing in a area before. Is that right? Yeah. Huge thanks to Jim and his wife Marie for hosting us while we were out there. And also thanks to sponsors and Patreon supporters for helping us make this content. Until next time, keep your flight chops sharp. Is that crazy? All right. So do you know which controls do what, Evelyn? No way. <laughs> no way. I thought your dad would have had y'all prepped up. It's kind of like uh, the video game. This is the I turning have, left and right. Look at his hands. And then this one you're not really going to need to worry about. Put your thumb on that one. Yeah. And then so turn left and right. <laughs> There you go. That's like a really good light. <laughs> there we go. To the right. Daddy. So go this way to the right. <laughs> that is funny, crazy, and weird, and funny. <laughs>